So the next type of straight line that we're going to be covering at higher is an altitude. Now, like we did with medians, we're going to start off by defining what an altitude is. We say that an altitude, which you might have heard of before, is to do with height and things like that. Well, it's quite similar when we're talking about triangles. We say that an altitude of a triangle, whenever we're talking about straight lines, triangles are probably involved when we're talking about altitudes or medians. So we say that the altitude of a triangle is a line um, passing through a vertex, which we said was the corner of a triangle. And we also say that it is perpendicular to the opposite side. So we talked about um, what perpendicular meant in our video about uh, gradients of perpendicular lines. So let's visualize what an altitude looks like using this definition. So here's a little diagram of a triangle A, B, C. We say that an altitude of a triangle is a line passing through a vertex. So here is our altitude, this blue line, the a uh, vertex it passes through is B, which is a vertex of the triangle. And we say that it is perpendicular to the opposite side. So instead of this line going to the midpoint, which we called the median. So if let's say we had the midpoint here and the line went like this, we called this the median. Instead, this time the line goes to the opposite side, meeting it at a right angle perpendicular to this line here. So the line BD is perpendicular to AC. So we'd say that BD is an altitude of the triangle ABC. Now, like we did with medians, when we're trying to work out an altitude or the equation of an altitude, it's best just to do an example. And we're going to work out the equation of the altitude from A of the triangle ABC, which has these vertices as follows. And again, like medians, we're going to be doing three steps to work out the altitude from A. Now, I've done a little sketch here to show you the triangle A, B, C, and we have a median, uh, an altitude, sorry, that goes from A. So we know that it's going to meet perpendicularly to the opposite side. So the line B, C, it meets perpendicular, and we're going to call the point at which it meets this line D, although we could call it anything apart from A, B, or C because it's a new point. Now note that D is not the median, so we cannot work out D just yet. So how can we work out the equation of this, uh, this altitude AD? Well, we know we can work out the equation of a line if we have a point on the line. We've got A, we've not got D, but we do have A. And if we have the gradient of this line, we can also work out the equation of the line. However, we don't have the gradient, but we can use the fact that gradients of perpendicular lines, if you remember, m times m of the perpendicular line is equal to negative 1. Again, we covered this in our gradients of perpendicular lines. Be sure to go and check that out if you want to recap on it. We can use this fact to work out the gradient of the line AD, the altitude AD, because we have the perpendicular line. B, C. So our first step in working out the altitude is going to be to calculate the gradient of the side which is perpendicular to the altitude. So we're going to be working out the gradient of the line B, C. So let's do just that, the gradient of B, C. We're going to use our formula. Now we're using this formula here for the gradient because we do have the points B and C as you can see. So our y2 is going to be 2, our y1 is going to be 3, so 2 take away 3, and our x2 is minus 7, and our x1 is 4. 
So putting this all together, we get minus 1 over minus 11, which is also just the same as 1 over 11. So our second step is using our facts about perpendicular lines. We know that since the gradient of BC times the gradient of AD is equal to negative 1, we know that the gradient of AD is going to equal, well, we said the little fact about flipping the fraction and changing the signs, so we know it's 11 over 1 and then change the sign, minus 11 over 1, which is just minus 11. So this is the, the gradient of the altitude for AD, and because we have a negative, we know that the line should go down from left to right, which we can see it does. So this looks like already that it's going to be right. So moving on to our third step, we have a point on the line A and we have the gradient. So we can substitute them into our formula. Y take B equals M, X take A. Our B in our case is going to be this X, this Y coordinate of A, which is minus five. So we're going to have Y plus five is equal to negative 11 x subtract 3 because this is going to be our a and our b. So now we'll just expand the bracket on the right hand side. We're going to get negative 11 x, negative 11 times negative 3 is plus 33. And again, we'll express this in the general form of a straight line. So we're going to have y plus 11 x to both sides and then subtract 33 from both sides is going to give us minus 28 is equal to zero. And we call this the equation of the altitude from A. So again, these are the three steps we need to do when working out an altitude, is first work out the gradient of the perpendicular line to the altitude, in this case, BC for us. The second step is therefore we can use this gradient to work out the gradient of the altitude, and in step three, put the gradient of the altitude and a point of the altitude into this equation here to give us the equation of the altitude.